I'm filming 365 seconds every day for 365 days, and this is day 30. Lang Prabang is a beautiful town in Lao that sits along the mighty Mekong River. And yeah, they have scorpions as big as this. Oh, oh Jesus, you actually scared me for a second. Holy shit. Oh my god. That's a big scorpion. Fucking hell. I'll put my hand next to it. That's huge. Oh, Jesus Christ. Look, that's a full length brick. I know. Anyway, yeah, that was just one of the insane wildlife creatures you find in Lao. See, Lao is the only country in Southeast Asia that is landlocked, meaning there is no coastal parts of the country and its borders are surrounded by Thailand, Cambodia, Vietnam, China and Myanmar, which means Lao is home to the thick jungle. If you visit this charming town of Lung Prabang, you can visit a hotel that has a nightly movie screening for free. Every night, the Sanctuary Hotel plays a movie from 1927. It's a silent movie that was later mixed with music and sound effects, and it is the first film ever created about the people of Lao. It is from the same directors as the original King Kong, and is a charming fictional piece that follows the life of tribal people who are living in the jungle. The movie is called Chang, and it captures literally and figuratively the exotic and wild animals that roam the jungle. It's remarkable to see these monkeys, tigers, leopards and elephants filmed up close like this and really leaves you thinking, how the hell did they film that? Did those people really just have to run away from that tiger? I guess this is a forewarning too. This is not the kind of movie that will say at the end, no animals were harmed in the making of this film. The movie starts with a small tribal family who live with a gibbon monkey named Bobo. It captures the man versus wild dynamic of the jungle, The family are struggling as the tigers and other animals keep eating their buffaloes and livestock. The family creates a series of traps to capture the wild animals before they capture their livestock as prey. The scenes between the tigers and people are incredible and hard to watch. What's it called? Endangered. Yeah. All the animals they're killing in this are all endangered. But yeah, it's like yeah. I'm upset with the tiger. So after the predator animals have been caught, they still are having trouble with the elephants, or chang, as they are stomping up their rice fields. Yeah. The elephants are also coming into the village and rampaging the buildings and destroying everything in their path. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> baby, you're gonna get squished. Baby, go back there. So the tribe dresses up in bushes and uses fire to smoke the herd of elephants out and funnel them into a trap cage they have built. The family then tames the elephants to be ridden and uses them to help build houses by knocking down trees and moving heavy logs. It's an hour long movie that transports you back a hundred years to when these animals really did roam freely. 
and suddenly the town of Lung Prabang had an extra feel of magic to it. This town, with its old colonial French history in the buildings and the Buddhist temples and monks that walk through the streets, it has colours of its past written all over it. The history and culture of Laos is incredible. I mean, we barely even scratched the surface. My time here has been too short. I hope to come back someday soon. Thank you, Lao.